So how is it going guys and welcome back to another episode of 5 awesome mods to download. We have quite a good collection of mods for this episode and I do want to quickly apologize again for the lack of videos within this series. I'm going to try and pick it up as much as I can uh, but I thought I'd go ahead and bring you guys another video of this here today. As always you know if you guys do want to check out some of the previous episodes that I have done I'll have a link in the description down below to a playlist that you guys can go to and with all that being said let's jump straight into the first mod. So the first mod that we are going to be covering here today is known as Ashara Fallout 4 Steampunk Lady and this was actually made by Ashara. Now this one's not going to tell it to all of you out there because this of course is only for female characters but this does add a really cool steampunk styled outfit for female characters in Fallout. It actually adds two modular sets of armors to Fallout 4. Of course this is inspired by steampunk clothing and it's all customizable as well which is really really cool. From the aviator cap to the left and right garters, the goggles, the harness, the jacket, the skirt, all of it is customizable. You can choose to turn one of them off or one of them on and that's what really makes this a really cool clothing mod. Of course in addition to this as well it does come with a different black variation that you guys will be seeing on screen as well. Uh, the problem is though with certain female hairstyles the aviator cap may not be a good fit. You can see here with the hairstyle that I have which is really bad in my opinion um, which I keep changing and then forgetting to save and stuff like that but um, it doesn't really suit the aviator cap because it keeps sort of glitching in and out of it and you can see the clipping going on. Uh, with that but aside from that I mean the outfit is great it's honestly one of the best looking female outfits within the game uh, that I've seen right now in terms of mods and definitely a really cool one that you guys should check out in the description down below if you are into clothing and armor mods similar to these. Coming up for the next mod this one is known as Lucky You. A mod that was made by Kester to give you alternative ways to open locks and doors in Fallout 4, whether this be through shooting at them. Uh, by the way, this is all balanced and I'll explain that here shortly. Uh, there's also a way that you can kick into the door as well and there's an animation for actually kicking the door. Or you can detonate explosives and hopefully get through the door that way as well. And again, all of this is balanced. So for instance, for shooting a door, the success chance depends on the weapon type and how skilled you are with the weapon. Of course, there is also the factor of Deluxe level, where it's a Master Lock and stuff like that that also does play into it. However, if you do fail to unlock it by shooting it, the lock may break, depending on your luck, and completely stop you from getting into the door, period. So that is definitely something uh, that you will have to look out for. Of course, the next option here is to simply kick the door, and obviously, there is a very few chance that this will actually work, especially on, you know, higher level luck. So raising your strength or wearing power armor, would definitely increase your chances of success by kicking the door in. It would also cost action points and drain your fusion core as well, so just bear that in mind. As well, you can also break your leg. You can see here in the gameplay, I ended up breaking my leg doing this, so just bear that in mind as well uh, when trying to kick a door in. And while well, as for the explosives, you will need to equip a suitable explosive to do this, like a grenade or a mine, and have some adhesive to spare in order to detonate the lock itself. And the good thing about this is it's almost guaranteed that you'll get through using this. Uh, it is a little bit costly, but I mean, it is effective. And the good thing about it as well, you can even detonate broken locks, which is also pretty cool uh, there in the mod. But overall, just a quick overview of that mod. I think it's definitely a great one. It just gives a little bit more spice into Fallout and are different ways to open doors apart from just, you know, pick locking them all the time or lock picking, sorry. And uh, yeah, definitely a really cool one that you guys should check out. Now this next mod, I'm going to count as a bit of an honourable mention to the video because while it's a very old mod, it was actually released the first day console mods was released to Xbox One and this is known as Improved Map with Visible Roads and this was actually made by MM137. Now the thing is, this just never worked. I believe it worked for like a few people uh, but the majority of people just couldn't get this to work at the time or at least to my knowledge it wasn't working. And um, it just sort of went down and down and people just stopped caring about it. And very recently, ever since the, the 1.7 update, I've noticed this start working again. Like on stream yesterday, I brought up the map and I was like, what's going on here? How, you know, why has my map changed? And I, I didn't realize that I still had this map downloaded since day one. 
which is why I want to give it an honorable mention because in my opinion it's pretty cool it pretty much changes the in-game map as you guys can see it enhances the roads and train tracks and topography as well uh, it shows off distinct water lines it also corrects some of the placement of map markers balances the brightness for the glowing sea and also gives you a bit of a legend or a guest list in the bottom right hand corner uh, letting you know different zones of the map and in general I like it, it you know it makes the road stand out a lot more it's a little bit easier to see it won't be for everyone but it's just one that I wanted to mention in the video uh, because in my opinion it's a pretty cool and probably the only mod on consoles right now that actually changes the map in game so let me know if it does work for you hopefully it is working for everyone now and uh, again you can check this one out in the description below but anyway moving on to the next mod here today this one is the Briar Pistol by D Magnus over on Bethesda.net the mod itself adds Kyle Katan's trusty sidearm, the Briar Pistol, into the game, featuring a custom model, custom projectiles, textures, firing sounds, and even impact effects, which makes this weapon overall a really cool weapon mod. In addition to this, the Briar also starts off in a pistol format. However, it can be modified into a rifle format, uh, which does give it things like additional accuracy, and although it's a little bit heftier and bigger, its firing sound will change and of course overall it will be a lot better to use in terms of damage and stuff like that. And while we're on the subject of damage and speed and stuff, although the Briar pistol is perhaps a little bit weaker and slower than you know most of the energy weapons, it does make up for it for being really really accurate and it does have a very large ammo pool as well of 100 shots. Now to get the pistol you'll need to head into the Hubris Comics building and on the third floor there'll essentially be a locked door there which is an expert locked door. Uh, this is basically where you would get the Silver Shroud script from and it can be found in the trash. Someone obviously didn't think too highly of the pistol to be putting it in the trash but hey it is definitely a weapon for you guys to pick up. Again you know it's definitely great my personal favourite part about this uh, is the sound effects and the little particle effects that come out of it and overall a very cool weapon mod and uh, more on the fun side of things in terms of weapon mods why not check out this mini nuke submachine gun by Devil Dog. And I mean, there really isn't too much to say about this. It literally is, as it describes, a mini nuke submachine gun. Now, in terms of textures, it's a little bit different. As you guys can see, the clip of the weapon itself is actually, I guess, sort of in the, you know, the texture of a nuke. And this weapon is a lot of fun. Put it like that, it's pretty much what you could make with any mod, any weapon, but just gets put into the game. And uh, you could do a lot of stuff with this. It's a lot of fun to use. You can actually find it in the pre-war home or the pre-war player home, I guess you could say, in Sanctuary in a chest. And uh, I thought it was definitely one to throw in there because I had a lot of fun using this one. And for the final mod of the video, this one is known as Armstrong and Duke guns for hire and this is essentially a companion mod made by skinny tech boy and this mod is absolutely great it's honestly like one of the better companion mods that i've seen on the consoles and again it adds two different companions armstrong and duke duke being the super mutant uh, into the game packaged as one so if you want to hire these they'll both come together and uh, you can go ahead and roll with them as well with any other companion that you have in the game it doesn't actually take up a companion slot uh, so you can roll with these guys and any companion you like, which is really, really cool. Now, the good thing about this is that there is almost 500 lines of custom dialogue for these characters. And let me tell you guys this, right? The dialogue is spot on. Like, you would think these were characters already in Fallout with how well the dialogue and the, the way they actually speak is actually done. Like, the guy who made this did an exceptional job with the dialogue. Some of the other features include a holotape control, interesting observational dialogue at play, uh, Armstrong as well can pick almost any lock as one of his additional perks, and Duke also has a custom quest that can give him a custom perk as well, almost like an ordinary companion that you would see in the game. Now to find these guys, once you have downloaded and enabled the mod, if you go ahead and cross the Sanctuary Bridge uh, towards Red Rocket of course, and you turn left and keep going across the riverbank, you'll notice their little campsite that they've got set up there, and uh, that's where you can interact with them. And again, the dialogue is great, it's definitely a mod that I suggest you guys download just to check out who Armstrong and Duke and what you know they're about, and in my opinion, it's just a very cool mod for you guys to download. And that, my friends, is episode 17 of 5 Awesome Mods to download. We are 17 episodes in. 
that is a lot of mods that I've covered on the channel. So as always, you know, if you guys do want to check out some of the previous episodes, I have a full playlist on my channel dedicated to this series. So if you guys want to check it out, simply click the link and you can go through each episode if you like. Uh, as always, if you guys do enjoy this series and want to see it continue, and be sure to leave a like as well. Uh, your support, of course, is always greatly appreciated on the channel. Let's try and smash 2,000 likes if we can on uh, this episode here today. And by the way, I'm going to be streaming in a few hours at 11 to 12 p.m. Uh, UK GMT time, so it's a couple of hours after this video goes live. I'm going to be streaming the new Do Sex Mankind Divided. If you've been tuning into my streams and stuff, you will know I'm a huge Do Sex fan. I played Human Revolution a hell of a lot. Mankind Divided is just being released, so I'm going to be playing it. And I thought, you know, why not just stream it to YouTube anyway? Uh, for those of you interested in that. So again, later today, tune in. It's going to be here on YouTube. Uh, if you want to, I'll be giving shoutouts and stuff like that. But aside from that, hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys next time with a brand new video. Peace out.